there's more of my craziness. I'm getting the parts for that thing tomorrow. But meanwhile, because of that job I'm getting, let me put this away. See this guy? When I saw the ad, I thought for sure I was looking at, uh, I thought it was a Mac of some kind. I had never seen one of these. It's, uh, see the little maple leaf there? Yeah, right there. It's Canadian. It's a Mastercraft from our famous store, Canadian Tire. But it's made by Weed Eater. It's a 38cc. It's pretty small for uh, 38. I thought that was less than that, actually. But it's all metal. It's a pruning saw, the way the handle's configured. And it can't be that old because it does have a chain break. And the nice thing about it is it starts up right away. Alright, sorry to make you dizzy. Hang on. Okay, let's go for another little walk. I'll try not to make it too dizzy. We're going to take it to its new home. I'm going to have to set up another hook. I really think I need help. Maybe I should go see a shrink. So now the count is 38. I had said 36 last time. I made a mistake. It was 37. So now with this one, it's 38. Uh, there's the monster. Now this little bugger I actually needed because of that tree job. I need as many working saws as I can get my hands on. And look how clean that is. It's like a brand new, uh, you know. And the chain, look at the size of them teeth. They're nice and long. It's like a new chain or something. Or if it ain't new, it ain't old. All right, let me unlock this place. Oh, there he is again. I could hear the rumbling of thunder. They're calling for storms. Woofy. Let me go throw his darn bone. Oops. Sorry. There's my fingers in the way again. There we go. Good catch. I must be making you guys dizzy. Here, I'll turn it away a little. I don't know if I'm going to get to edit any of this. Just this morning, we had no power, and I do believe that's what's going to happen again. All right, how do I do this like Kingdom does? Hang on. All right, this might be better. Hope you guys can see this. I don't even know how the heck to do this. I forgot to ask him. Uh, I think choke is... Oh, there, that must be the choke. Let me get my glasses. <sighs> you always gotta keep some of these stashed somewhere. Uh, okay, that's the on-off button. And this is the choke. I thought that was just to open up the air filter. Darn. I don't know. How do you lock it in place? I'm not sure. I don't think it does lock. Or does it? I don't know. Hang on. I'm used to a saw that I could stick my foot on. Am I still in the frame? Yeah, okay, hang on. 
Oops. Take the choke off. Man, that was good for a shot. And it's cold. That's what we needed, man. I don't know if any of you are familiar with the old saws, but uh, the older saws, they don't RPM as fast as the newer ones. You know, like a, a newer saw will RPM really high, and these are, you know, it's like the difference between a circular saw and a grinder. All right, let me switch this around again. Hang on. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this purchase. Uh, I had to drive about, a, I guess, an hour and 15 minutes. That's how far away it was. But don't you love it? These colors, yellow and black, reminds me of my Tonka trucks when I was a kid. And I always said, if ever I'm rich enough to buy myself a Hummer, I'm going to have it painted yellow like this. With black trim, no chrome. So now you know too many of my secrets, folks. Uh, here we go again. He can't resist. All right, go. See if he's going to catch it again. Damn. Every shot. What a guy. All right, now, where do I put this one? Get the light on. All right. I don't need the glasses for this. Okay, that one's been dripping over here. Uh, this home light. Now, let's see, friends. I don't think I have too many options up here. Actually, if this one was a little bit more that way, and then I'd have room to put one there. What do you think? Yeah, I think I just might do that. Sounds like a plan. Alright, now I gotta go in the house and get the drill. And I still didn't work on this one. And this one really runs nice. So I'm gonna have... This little one, which it's not a pruner because look at where the handle is. It's in the back. And uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to have time to work on this guy. This is the one I bought that was smoking like hell. The guy didn't know what mix to put. It's the old XL2. It's also a pruner, a double trigger. So I might... I don't know. I don't need that many pruners. It's I got 14 super tall trees to do. And I need to bring a few saws because, you know, when they get hot. Because we're in the middle of a heat wave over here. Alright, let me put this down and go get my drill. Guys, the deed is done. I reconfigured everything up here. Sorry about the glare from the neon. So I switched these two, moved them down, and now the new one's right here. Isn't she beautiful? So now I got four in that row. And one, two, three, four, five, six in this row. I guess I was able to get six because I got my pruner on a leash over here. I do that so he doesn't escape. You know, because he's a troublemaker in the gang. Alright, so. Eventually I'm going to have to sit in here and work on these guys. But I don't think I'm going to get a chance. Not soon anyway. Oh, and i got to check something. I need to see if my visor will fit my helmet. So I, I got this really cool visor here. It's fun when you're weed whacking. But I don't know if that'll fit on my helmet. Or I might have to just buy a whole new helmet that has one of these shields on there. 
Uh, but I'll just, oops, there we go. That's what I needed. Anyway, I just went and drilled some holes in my fancy helmet. But I'm not done. I got to put a thin hole right through it. I made these so that my visor will fit on there. Well, it's not really a visor. It's, uh, it's a face shield. Oh, that dumb dog. He's starting to really piss me off. Every time I'm busy, he needs all my attention. No, you dumb mutt. Go. Good catch. No matter how I throw it, he just jumps at it like a soccer player. No, now you go lay down. Go. All right, getting back to my craziness. Uh, where? Oh, here it is. I don't even know if that'll fit with my holes. All right, let me try and fit that. Where can I put this so you could watch? I should have let you see me drilling the holes. But I didn't do it. Because that's the kind of guy I am. What am I doing? I'm turning this every which way. Right, let's see if this will work. I'll lean you up on here. Sorry about my hand again. Hi. There we are. Okay. Now, does that fit? Yeah, it does. Ain't that sweet. But will it fit this way now? I might have to trim some of this off. Because I couldn't put it closer because of the uh, strap. Now, uh, no, I'm going to have to trim some of that. That's what I thought. But how to trim it without overdoing it, you know? I think I'm going to have to use like a, a razor blade and scrape it. Speaking of which, here's one. All right, now watch me cut myself, because I'm good at doing stuff like that. Oh, it's actually harder than I thought. Yeah, and I am the type to be accident prone. And since these knives are the breakable blades... If I twist while I'm forcing, and if I slip, I'm pulling with all kinds of pressure right at myself. That's an accident waiting to happen. Hang on. Now, let me try going the other way. See if that'll help. Well, I got some of it. I don't know how far I need to go, so... It's really trial and error at this point. And there I just went and... You guys didn't see that probably, but I just stabbed myself. Not deep, but I felt it. Alright, hang on. Do it the other way again. This is what happens when we improvise. You know, there's no real way to do it. And that's how I've been all my life. No textbook stuff. Just, you know, go with the flow. Do whatever seems right. And I've gotten in, out of a lot of jams doing it that way. You know, doing stuff that way, I mean. All right. Now let me try it. Will it fit? Uh, get it in the hole. I could hear some of you people now going, that's what she said. Now, will it go up? Uh, hang on. Maybe if I start from the top. See if it'll reach. Mm. Not quite. I still got more to do. Alright, well I won't bore you with this. I'll get back to you when I'm... Oh, wow, that just came to a real close-up. Hang on. 
Oh, I can't make it smaller. I don't know if my arms are long enough to move this. All right, I want you to see my creation. I just took an old bicycle helmet and uh, I turned it into a uh, arborist helmet. What do you think of that? There we go. Now, because it's not tied, I left it so it's kind of hard. Hang on a sec. Let me move this down. Oh, my hand in the camera again. I'm good at doing that. Oops. I need to place it somewhere else, somewhere higher. Hang on. I see a shelf back here. That should do it. Yeah, right on the shelf. Right now we don't have much light. Okay, I'll, I'll get down. Now, so here, it, it, I could slide it up if I need to and then pull it back down when I need to. So there we go. How's that? I drilled holes in the side of my helmet here. So now I'm good to go. See that? Ain't that cool. I love this helmet too. All right, so that's enough of that. I think I better go in and have supper. Okay, I didn't do such a bad job now, did I? All with that little utility knife. All right, so now I'm all set. And it's time to go and cut them trees down. Oops, got it in my face. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not used to having this thing pointing at me. So I'll just spin it around again. I work better when it's like that. See, that's what it looks like. So, now I got me a really cool tree worker's helmet. And look at that smooth fit. And I just did that with the utility knife. I think I did a pretty darn good job, even though my eyes are bad. All right, that's enough of that. Time for me to go inside and eat something. Oops, I lost my dog. Oh no, he's over there. Alright, that's enough of this for now. Hope you guys take care. Have a wonderful week. We're Monday evening. It's just a bit after supper, which I need to go eat soon. And uh, I could hear the rumbling of thunder. I don't know when it's going to hit us. I just hope we don't lose power again. Alright, so please comment and subscribe and uh, tell all your friends. Thanks for watching.